Welcome. If you have ever wanted to see how a 747 goes from a cold and dark condition, meaning everything turned off, to takeoff, then stay tuned. So I'm basically just going to show some some of the uh, settings and and features that will allow a 747 to to take off. It is by no means an official way of flying the 747. In, in other words, I'm not going to use uh, formal checklists and things like that. I'm just going to do a few things to give you a quick overview of what's involved and then uh, we'll take off. So this flight is going to be from uh, Los Angeles to Miami and I've already pre-programmed the uh, flight plan into the flight computer and that way I don't have to bore you guys with entering all the different uh, uh, SID waypoints or the star approach waypoints or any other waypoints for that matter. Uh, so that was done within the simulator itself and it automatically loads it into the flight computer. So here we are at LAX. In fact, let's uh, do a quick see if I can rise up here. You can see the, the control tower, but also there's the city of Los Angeles downtown in the background, sort of right behind the, the tower in the distance there. All right, let's head back down. And let's hop inside and, and get this thing started up. Okay, this is a cold and dark cockpit, meaning everything is off. No, no power at all. So let's uh, get, get some power going here, some temporary power, which would be uh, battery master. Let's set that on. So I'm going to turn on the APU now. Uh, let's get that started. Okay. Once the APU starts up, the, the APU generators will be available. Uh, so let's go outside and see if we can hear the APUs uh, starting up. Whoa. Sorry about that. Went the wrong way. It's the APU exhaust is right here in the tail end. So we can hear it. Actually, you can hear that. Hear it starting up, huh? So that while the APU is starting up, uh, we will go back into set the camera, the drone camera, back to over here. Back up a bit. Okay, let's go back inside. So now our generators are available. Let's turn that off. Close that guard there. So let's, uh, the flight plan I believe we're going to fly is, is going to take us up to 37,000. So let's kind of prepare some of the avionics here. 37,000, not 27,000. Whoa, not 47. Let's bring this down to, all right, to about that. We're gonna go with a, oops, let's go with a vertical speed of, let's start out 1500. And uh, heading, we're going to be on runway 25 right, so let's set our heading to that bearing, 250. 
and let's have an, an initial airspeed below 10,000 while we're still uh, climbing. It has to be below 250 or 250 or below. So let's set it like 230 or something. What do you say? Sounds good. We have the auto throttle on. Let's turn on the flight director. And anything else we need to do at the moment? No, but we can turn on LNAV just, just to have on. Okay. Uh, obviously, our <laughs> landing gear is down. So let's go to, let me turn up the, yeah, turn up the lights here in the panel so we can see what's going on. And let's kind of zoom out on the, the primary flight display here. Oh, a little too much. All right, we'll do it for like that for now. Uh, let's let's head down to the the uh, so it's the the flight computer, and we're flying a 747 uh, 8i. What we're going to do here, I've already loaded in everything needed. We're going to have our Let's see, well, let's go take off. These different speeds, like the V1 and the rotate and uh, V2, has been off in the simulator. I don't know if they've tweaked it yet or not, but it's usually not, uh, it's usually overstated here. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking at the most, <laughs> we will rotate around 174, maybe even go like 165. And let's see, what else do we have here? Let's go back to on the performance. Okay, the center, our center of gravity is at 20%. Uh, this, the sim briefing I did had a cost index, but and I could put it in here, but I don't think it, it, it takes that into an account uh, at this time. So it looks like we have some fuel. And if you... There's a route, so we're we'll going to LAX to Miami. And we go, these are all our different uh, waypoints that we have to go through. This is the, I believe, the SID, some of the SID uh, waypoints. Anyway, let us go back. To here and we'll use that as a guide so uh, let's see if we can okay flaps flaps are zero and here I'm going to set flaps at 10 is typical for for this for this particular instance we'll set the flaps at 10 uh, in, in a bit okay so I believe Everything's ready. We'll, we have to disconnect the jetway. Let's, uh, let's see if we can request jetway disconnection. Los Angeles ground, Les Niger, Niger. Could you please disconnect the jetway from the aircraft? Okay. So the jetway should start to peel back here. There it goes. And then I'm going to, I've requested a pushback. So let's see, there, okay, here comes the tow. So what I need to do now, so I don't upset the tow driver there, is to release the parking brake. So let's come down here and take this, turn that down, set back here. Kind of look around, see what's going on. Okay. All right, so we're going back. 
see if we can get a good view back here. to have the gonna have the toe push us to our left which would be his right so let's go ahead and get that going Los Angeles ground less nighter nighter requesting push back to, to steer the aircraft to the right less nighter nighter your request All right. has been transmitted to the operator Hopefully we don't run into this uh, gold plane behind us. Looks like we're going to clear it. Hopefully the wingtips will clear. I better get ready to to tell the pushback that we're done. Uh, let's get a little straight. I better push it now because it takes a few seconds. Okay. So what I want to do now is put the, whoops, went a little, a little too far here. Ah, let me get straightened out here. Let's go down to our parking brake and let's set that while we start up the, uh, the engines. Okay, so let's uh, go up here to start up the engines. Let me pull back some. All right, so I'm going to turn on the fuel pumps. Let's turn all these on here. Uh, I could do it engine by engine, but and it's that's probably the proper way. But right now, I'm just going to turn on all these fuel pumps, and I'm going to set the turn the starter on for number four. So now I'm going to go down to here and. Let's see if, uh, wait till that gets going. Okay, that's that should be enough. Let's send some fuel now to the engine. And we can hear engine number four starting up. So that, that's the outboard uh, starboard engine number four. So let's go back back up to the top. And as soon as it, it starts up and is stable, the starter will, will disengage here. It'll automatically go in. There it went. So let's start. With, let's go with number three now. Let's do the same thing. Let's make sure engine number three gets going. All right. That looks about right. Let's send fuel to that engine. And get that one fired up and we just repeat this with the remaining two engines on this these will be on the, the port side uh, engine one and two so as soon as three uh, the starter disengages automatically we'll go with number two there we go Number two, let's come down, check out engine number two's info here. I just like to make sure it gets up to you know point seven, point one, or to one, something like that. So that's uh, should be enough. Let's uh, send the fuel to it. We can hear it starting up. go up and prepare to do the very last of the four engines which would be engine number one as we wait for number two starter to to reinitialize there we go number one put 
that going. Five, six, point seven, decimal eight, decimal nine, one, that should be enough. Let's turn that one on with some fuel. Now, one thing I forgot to do is let me switch the view to the to the overhead. Figure out, hang on. Still learning the different views here. Here we go, up here. Uh, what was it? Uh, we forgot to turn on the taxi light. Beacon. Let's do beacon for both. All right. Uh, let's turn nav. Let's turn the strobes. Let's, uh, yeah, might as well do the wing and logo. What the heck. So, uh, we'll turn the landing lights on once we, we get in position to, to take off. Uh, okay, let's go back here. Here we are outside, so let's, let me move this camera over. We'll just follow along with, as we're taxiing. So we got a bit of a taxi to go. So let me, let's get started on that. I'll set up in my seat here so I can see. Let's turn the parking brake off. And oh, before we start, as you can tell, I told you this is not a formal way of doing things, but uh, what I want to do here is we can turn off the APU now since since the engines are off or are on, I'm sorry. So now the APU is off. Uh, it's batteries in standby or the standby powers in auto when we need it. Now let's get going. We're going to follow this taxi line right here. up you can see all we have to do is make a right uh, u-turn and we'll be on 25r but before we do there's a few final things that I need to set up uh, the first will be uh, all the de-icing uh, you know what it's probably better if I, if I slide over here here we go that one, turn that on, these engine, okay. So the DI scene is on. There we go. And all of our lights are on. So that's good up there. Let's go downstairs here and make sure we have everything else set. Let's let me let me see if I can Pull up the weather here, see what, what we're up against. Uh, how do I get that? There we go. Let's increase our range. There, there's some weather. A bit of weather ahead of us. No, no big deal. There's our first waypoint. Uh, so now we have all this set. I believe. Yep. Uh, 
let's come down here, set our uh, speed brakes, auto brakes to RTO, rejected takeoff. Let's set our flaps to oops, 10 and I believe we are good to get out on the runway. So let's do that. Here, let me set up in my seat so I can see what's going on better. And let's clear to the left, clear to the right. Get on to the runway here. This is runway 25 right. So let's get positions here as close as we can to the middle. And also we should be pointing around 250 heading. To the to the line. Close enough. Okay, we have everything started that we needed to do. Break the speed brakes, flaps, flaps ten. Yeah, we're ready to go here. Let me see if I can start you out at this angle. I'm gonna give her some throttle now and we'll see what happens. Let's give it some juice. down just a bit. I think our rotate speeds around 1, 160, 165. runway we came off of 25 right 
I believe this is Marina Del Rey over here. Downtown Los Angeles over in here. Let's acknowledge the radio tower. Look here. Los Angeles Tower West Niner Niner frequency change. Positive rate of climb. We're passing through 8300. And that's how you take off in a 747, or at least that's how I take off in a 747. Anyway, so that was it. Maybe I'll video something of us on the approach to Miami. Uh, but who knows? We'll see. Check a couple of views out here to the left, to the right. Pretty good views from up here. Thank you for watching.